Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for a new world overview. So I, I just did one recently, but I really wanted to do one on this world because I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. I've never seen a Let's Play in it and or a current household, and I watch a lot of those. So I wanted to go ahead and inform you guys that there is this beautiful world out there called Mayfield Springs. Um, I myself haven't played on it in my new PC because I honestly forgot about it for a long time. And then I was looking on The Sims 3 catalog and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I love this world. On my old computer, it could not handle this world. It is a big world. I will give you a little disclaimer right there. It is a huge, huge world. It is, I think, the biggest size world that, you know, people can make. Um, my PC, my new PC can handle it. But if you do have a not very nice one then it might not be able to a not very nice pc then it might not be able to handle it like it could you know a smaller world um but yeah just keep that in mind um there it is populated um like i said it's called mayfield springs and it is just a beautiful beautiful world i think it's really nice to actually start a family in um so let's go ahead and take a look at the world shall we so my sim lives over here in this little area over here i'll go ahead and show you her house um so you can just kind of see one of the starter homes i think this one's really really cute um this is like the style of pretty much all the houses is just like pointy i guess i don't know <laughs> um but yeah this is the house that she lives in it's really really small but i love it <laughs> i just think it's really cute but yeah, we live in the, I guess this is the main area. I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff. We have a, the Groovy Goose, which is really cute. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Um, and we have the library over here. We have the Central Park, which is the festival grounds, which is already here. And I love that. <laughs> I love that because a lot of times you have to wait till like Monday. And that's annoying because then it's like, well, my Sims are at work now. And then I want them to come home and work on their skills so we can get a promotion. So we can get a new house. So we can have money. That sort of thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. And then here is the public pool, which is so, so cool. This is one of my favorite worlds of all time. Um, it is just so beautiful. And I'll have a link down below in the comments. I usually put it on the description. So look in the comments. Um yeah <laughs> um and then we have a little bar over here but we can't see that till 11 so look let's look at some other stuff so we have a doggy park i love dog parks i think they're just really cute um i don't generally go to them but ooh, <laughs> he's a teen <laughs> next um but this one has like food in it and i think that's really really cute for like the strays to come eat and that's something i would make personally if you guys don't know i'm a crazy fanatic for animals like I don't care like I personally am a cat person but dogs I can get jiggy with too you know what I'm saying um but this is a church actually and I feel like this is amazing first of all and second off it's gonna be like a wedding I bet yep and it's like for a wedding and I like that a lot actually I think that's really cute <gasps> Oh, so I wouldn't have to download anything. How wonderful is that? We love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the church pretty much. It just has this downstairs area. I don't see an area for food. So you would have to probably go in and edit it. Oh. Sis, I'm not going to university. Oh, God. I'm gonna, this is going to be a legacy challenge. This has to be my new family because my old one, my old save got messed up because of my launcher problems. And I'm so upset about it. Um... But where was I? I was at the church. Where'd it go? This is it. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to play in this world or not because I want to check out St. Clair because I've never played in St. Clair. I've never even seen St. Clair and I really want to see it. So I might play in that world. I don't know yet. But yeah, this is the church. It's really cool. But like I said, you're going to have to fix the whole food problem, which if you have it when it's like nice outside, you could totally just deck that out and that'd be really cool as well. And we have a cat park as well. I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, we have a cat park as well, and it's right over here. Uh, let's see if they put cat food out. They did. Oh, we love it when the, they don't forget about cats. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's over there. So let's just stay focused, please, Alexis. Oh, I mean, it's hard for you, sweetie. Mm, let me get a drink of my tea. Ah, spicy. Okay. So what else is, do we have? We have the Stayed 
trap the stage traveler so i guess it's like a bar maybe i don't know exactly what that symbol is but it's 10 a.m so we can actually look there is no like skyscrapers in this world and that's another thing i like uh i have never seen this this is awesome so on the first floor we have like karaoke this is so cool this looks <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is awesome don't talk to the fucking no oh that is so cool and then upstairs we have like a little claw machine oh god there's like so many floors that is so amazing i love this bar i'm gonna save this this is cool and that's why i like this town is because you can come in here and save all of these like bars and shit and you can plop these down literally in any world and it'll look pretty normal um and then we have a resort over here let's go ahead and take a look at this she wants to get married you're cute you're cute some neighbors have arrived to welcome you to the town okay <laughs> okay um but yeah this is the resort so if you are into island paradise or whatever you could totally use this um because i know isla paradiso doesn't work for a lot of people and you know finding a town with lots of resorts is kind of hard so um but yeah this is really really neat i like this a lot this is really nifty i could never ever in a million years build anything like this i don't even know how <laughs> i can be here. i don't know how but yeah it has its like own island that has to be expensive and there are uncharted islands so like i said if you are in island paradise you could do scuba diving resorts and uncharted islands and <laughs> boathouses so there's really everything you want just in a different world because i know island paradise or isla paradiso is a bish but you know it's fine <laughs> who am i to judge but we have a little park over here and i really like this park but i kind of don't like how there's nothing for toddlers or kids to play on um oh <gasps> oh my god scandalous they don't even have the same last name <laughs> I see that. I'm like, oh my god, when they could just be dating. <laughs> um, okay, and this is a nectary. You guys know I love, 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 love nectaries. Because um, then I don't have to go to France. And sis is lazy. So, um, yeah. There's even... Okay, cool. So there's actually something to pump fruit in. And I wonder if there's like a register. Okay, there is. Oh my god, I love it. Love it. What a queen. Whoever built this is amazing. Which I'll give credit to to who it's due to um at the end but what is this this is a opera house mayfield's opera house it's open from 10 a.m to 3 a.m holy cow um so let's go ahead and look at this if it would loan it's a big lot that's a this is a huge lot so it, this is going to take a while to load everything but this is the first floor um it would be really good if you are in a showtime again I mean, it's cool. I'm not really, like, into Showtime too, too much. It is one of my favorites, but I get bored of it pretty fast. You guys know I, I'm on a hiatus with the Let's Play. It's not done. Like, it'll eventually come back, but yeah. And then this is the upstairs room. It's just really classy, which is what I would expect of an opera house. Um, upstairs, though. Oh, they got a little cranky cranky with a bar. Love it. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to render that right now. Like, my PC is not having it. Um, I just installed, like, a crap ton of CC. Oops. <laughs> Oops. But, yeah, look at this. Oh, my God, this house is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and look inside. Um, shall we? <laughs> shall we just look inside the stranger's house? Um, so, <clears throat> they have a, well, it's more like a carport, which is also really cool. And it's kind of barren here. Like, if you wanted to redo it, though, I bet you could make it freaking pop in, though. And you can even have, like, a whole nother bedroom, honestly. It's a pretty cute house. It's not my favorite, though. I do like the outside, though. Like, the architecture of it is really awesome. It's just, again, I'm more of a family home person, and I feel like that's really modern, so. Um, and this is a gated area. Okay, Spring Sims. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, yeah, this is really cool, too. Wow. Wow. Wow, said Owen Wilson. Um, what else can I show you guys over here? There's just some more houses. Like, there's a lot of residential lots. Oh, this part. I love this part. I love trailer parks. 
Um, I don't know why my sim. I like them to be poor and kind of live slumly, slumly sometimes. And I don't know. I feel like having trailers is really nice when you want that because it's just they're really small and I just adore that. I don't know why. I'm a really like I'm a weirdo. Look, there's even scrap. Oh, that's so cute. But this is actually a starter home too. So see if I can actually get in it. Okay, there we go. But it is a, oh my god, you know you're messed up if you, <laughs> ah! bam. This is really cute though. Like, even if you're just starting out, like, and you want your little studio, that'd be really cute. Yeah, I like that a lot. But we're gonna go ahead and close that and move on. I kind of want to see all the other trailers, or at least this one, which has a little dog area. How cute. Let's go ahead and open their house. I love trailers so much. <gasps> oh, this one's so cool. This is so cool. Brandy Black. Is she She's a witch. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How cute is this? I love this house. Oh, I'm so jelly. Okay, go ahead and close it. <laughs> and let's move on to... We're not going to go and open his. I'm sure it looks like hers. Um, we have, obviously, the criminal career, and I showed you guys that, so I don't think there's anything else on this side. Well, <laughs> there's more on this side, but on that little island, um, and this is really nothing except the fortune teller career, and then on this island, we have a beach, nothing too crazy, and, ooh, my game lagged a little bit there. Um, the lonely walker, let's look at this. Ooh, well, that's cool. I love this. I love like the dark woods that they use a lot, like with the reds. Ugh, it's so beautiful. Um, and upstairs there's a karaoke machine. We love karaoke. I love karaoke in The Sims. I think it's really cute. Even in The Sims 4, it's really cute. There is no bar though, but it, I don't think it's a bar. I think it's just a cafe. I wish there was like a little the cafe thing that came with university. You guys know? You guys know. Um, then we have the Riff. It's open at 2 p.m. So, Oh, wait, it is 2 p.m., bitch. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and look at this. Again, using uh, lots of reds and bricks, woods. I love it. Um, that's another reason I really love that because that's, like, my style. Like, if I had to pick a style in The Sims, I would pick that. <laughs> but, of course, there's a really cool bar. This is really cool. This is really cool. We got the bubbly area. There's elevators. Ooh, DJ booth. We love it. Yes, queen. What's back here? Oh, that's cool. The yeah, I understand like why you would want no one else in there. <laughs> um, that could be a danger. And then there's like a little party room. That's really cute. So your Sims can come up here and serve up some food and eat and listen to them sing. That is so cute. I love that little aspect. Ugh. And, of course, we have bathrooms. <laughs> That's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, it'd be really good for a bachelorette party. Then we have the Bonsai Garden Lounge. Oh, my God. I bet this is... Yep. I figured it'd have, like, the Chinese culture in it. Um, like, the uh, World Adventures stuff. So, um, again, just another bar. It's really cute, though. Oh, my God. I love all, like, the Chinese... Um, world adventure stuff because I can tell that they went straight into that pack thing in <laughs> the set. Ugh, I love it. It's so cute. I, ke I keep saying so cute, but it's <gasps> oh my gosh. This is awesome. There's a little hot tub. You can literally just sit in that hot tub and just listen to some awesome music. Oh my gosh. My Sims, your Sims would be living the life of luxury. I've never really like done too much in this world because it always crashed on my old computer that's another thing like if your computer can't handle it don't do it because it'll crash it won't lag it'll crash <laughs> um at least from my experience oh and this one's a pretty casual park no, nothing really in it but you could easily come in here and add a few things over here or something or more some more stuff over there and there's a subway which is always nice to get around town in and these houses are really cute too i wonder if they're starter homes how much are they yeah they are starter homes cool so let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like so you guys can get another idea of some starter houses. Oh my gosh. This one's got to be my favorite. <laughs> I love the open floor plan. I would want it, honestly, to be smaller. But, you know, it's still really cute. Um, let's 
Go ahead and close that. It looks like something like out of a movie, like this little neighborhood. I love that though. Let's go ahead and look at this one as well. <clears throat> it's probably the same, just different layout. Yeah, it looks kind of different. Ooh, I like it a lot though. I still like it a lot, yeah. So if you're having a kid, this one would be a good one. And what's, this one's a Stevens household, so you would have neighbors, which is always good. And I bet there's some some room right here to put a house or like a park or something if you wanted to place another park. We got the Garden of Wish, Wishdom and Knowledge. <laughs> wishdom, <laughs> Wishdom. Wait, is it wisdom? No, it's not. Am I stupid? Oh my god, I hope I'm not making a fool out of myself right now. Oh, I'm just gonna shut up. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of world adventure stuff again, which I love this karate stuff. Like your sims will always do that pose, like Rah! you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's really funny. Um Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here. I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god! <gasps> Oh my god, they're gonna snatch your kid. Yes. I'm coming get a free taco kid. <laughs> oh my god, that's how to bribe me. I'm making tacos tonight, boo. Uh <laughs> what the hell? Um, but I like how they made this look like sand. Or they probably used the sand texture, but that's still really cute. And those are like my favorite houses. I wanna show you guys one of them because they're really nice on the inside. They are very, very nice on the inside. If you guys have ever played in Cetra, they kind of remind me of those houses. I know, I bet you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just really nice. I can imagine like a good little Christmas tree right there. Or right here instead of this, because I'm not a fan of that. But, you know, all the more power to you. And a big laundry room, which is awesome. And a cat room, which you can make in an office if you don't have cats. Or a dog room, anything, honestly. And there is a huge master bedroom. Where you could honestly fit another bathroom, which I would do that personally, just because one bathroom is not ever enough, which they have two, but that's still not enough in my opinion. But yeah, that house is really cute. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys another one if I can. This one it looks a little bit smaller, so I'm kinda curious to know what it looks like on the inside. Just the background or the backyard's really cute too. Um, okay. So, they still have, like, a huge freaking master bedroom. And the oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. This is awesome. I love this kitchen. I love that. That's a really good idea. Like, it's a little glitchy because they do have to use, like, two counters and, like, move objects on that shit. But it's really cute. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and close that. And let's go ahead and go over here to this, like, little countryside area. This is, if I remember, like, one of my favorite bars in this town. I didn't really go to every single one of them. But this is a really good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cute. I love that how it has one chair when my sim comes here. Yep. She's always going to be alone for the rest of her life. No, I'm just kidding. Um... But yeah, this is the dance floor and all the other stuff. Just really cool theme. I really, really like the theme. Like the Western theme. It's like my favorite thing for a bar is the Western theme. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm a weirdo like that. But yeah, that's really cute too. And we obviously have the equestrian center. And then we have like a little training grounds from, um, whatchamacallit. Appaloosa Plains, you guys know Appaloosa Plains. Mm -hmm. um, we have some houseboats, obviously. Yes, houseboats. Got the Fraser household. Let's go ahead and look at this. This isn't a starter house, but if you took out furniture, like got it unfurnished, I wonder if it'd be them. I don't know. Um, but this is a really like tall one. Not good if you have kids because there's no stairs. There's just a ladder, and obviously you can't take the kids off up the ladder. But that's really cool too. Um, I'm not a really a fan of it actually and these are apartments which they're really nice on the inside like I'll show you guys this one it's my sims actually lived in it for a long time when they had a baby another reason my game used to crash is because I had a lot of CC I shouldn't have had in my game 
Um, but yeah, this is the apartment. It's just really, 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 really cute. <laughs> oh my god. Um, it's one of my favorite apartments, I'd have to say, in this whole freaking game. It's just super nice. I'm not a fan of how that doesn't fit, but, you know, you know, you can probably get around it somehow. I don't know. Just cute. Okay. 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 Um, and then these houses right here are also amazing. I love, like, the neighborhood style that this world has. Just, like, cute little neighborhoods everywhere. <laughs> Queen. Um, that's a lot of checkered. Oh, that hurts my eyes. <laughs> I would have to change that real quick. Put some wood in that-ish. But for the most part, this is really cute. I like how this is against the wall. Oh, I'm, like, so inspired right now. Help. Help. Oh, my gosh. There is four bedrooms up here. So, if you have three kids, this is a perfect, perfect house. Which, this will probably be my future house. Um, the pool needs a little bit of work. But, um, it needs to just be, a, like, a little bit bigger. So, my Sims could all fit. Because my Sim is going to have five kids. <laughs> um... And then we have the church that I showed you guys earlier. Um, this is the mainland. I wanted to show you guys more over here. This is awesome. This freaking dance club is amazing. It's outside, so it wouldn't be good if it's like any other <laughs> um, season other than <laughs> summer or like spring or even fall. You could probably get away with it as long as it's not raining. But yeah. And then we have, I think it's just like a little park. There's a food truck and that's what matters. And a little skating rink. So that's pretty cool. What is it called? The plaza. Okay. And then we have a deer's heart, which I've also been to this one, I believe. Oh, is there, maybe I haven't been to this one. I might have been to, the, no, I have not been to this one. <gasps> this is so neat. I love that. I love that. And there's also like an insert. Okay, it is like hours later. My boyfriend came home and so I made dinner and then my power went out. So I lost like the time. So if the time's different, that's why. Um, so yeah, my power went out. There was a storm. Didn't even like rain, but there was a storm, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but that happened. And, um, and then I went to Walmart while the power was out because I had nothing else to do. And I got some stuff for my cat. So I'm spoiling him constantly and organizing stuff because I'm a whole mess and a half. Anyway, so get back into the world overview. This is a arcade right here. And I wanted to show you guys this because I don't remember what, <laughs> what bar I was at. I might have been at this one. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that one again. Just like a quick one just in case I already showed it. But I'm going to show you guys that one again. Um, but this is an arcade. And I think this is really, 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 really awesome. Um, Pride Month who? Um, it's not, but you know what I mean. Because it's like rainbow and it's really pretty. I love this a lot. Like, this is probably my favorite arcade of all time that I've ever seen. The only thing I don't like about it is that there are elevators and not stairs. And I'm not a fan of the elevators. Um, there is like a little bar so your sims can come here on a date and get the full thing of it. Um, they can come here and play some games like these sims right here are. And they can ride the bull. Um, play some pool, get some photos, you know, all of that fun stuff. Is there? Oh, no. And you can look over at people, <laughs> watch them bowl. And you can even come outdoor, outdoors and do some karaoke, which I did not know that. So that's really cool. Um, of course, we have the graveyard. Let's actually look at that. I'm kind of curious to know what it looks like. Oh, pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. It's a graveyard. Not something I ever look at. Look at this rainbow. Oh, my lord. Duh. It is right in my face. Um, and then there's another plaza, which I'm sure looks just like that one that I showed you guys. Um, there is some more bars on the other side, which I'll show you guys those here in a second. But I'm going to show you guys this again because I feel like this is the one I was on with my game. Yes, this was what I was at. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is the bar that I honestly am in love with. It is just absolutely stunning. Like... What is that? I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Um, but it is beautiful. Like, it is just amazing. Um, I love the outdoor spark. Spark, yes. The outdoor part of it. I just think that's really gorgeous, and I'm in love with it. And then we have a consignment store. I doubt there's anything, like, special about it. Like, it is just a consignment store, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's whatever. It's just a consignment store. But then we have a little laundry mat and i 
love laundry mats. I have my Sims, like, when they live, you know, in a trailer or something and they can't afford a washer or a jar, I'll have them come here and do their own laundry like this guy is right here. And I just think it's a really cute aspect of the Sims is going to the laundry mat. I don't know. It's something I used to have to do as a kid and tedious is what it was. Tedious. <laughs> um, I never left because I was like, ain't nobody gonna steal my clothes. Um... We got some houses over here and just some really cool stuff. Um, there's the freaking fire department, which is ginormous. I need a drink. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and go over here now that it is 5 p.m. And look at these uh, dance clubs that are over here, which is kind of, I feel like, a little bit more of a slummy area. But at the same time, it's not. I don't know how to feel about it. But I want to see this one first it is called the night and day so it looks really awesome um so you come in over here i guess there's like an archway and then there's like a photo booth and it's like before and after pics <laughs> um yeah and then there's just like all this really cool stuff and then we have like an outdoor seating area which is really cool it wraps around the whole bar area which this is the bar area obviously we have a hot tub of course a queen only can sit in a hot tub and we have a dance area um and if you go up the stairs there's just a little i don't know what that is honestly but i like it because it's overlooking you know the water which i feel like this world i don't know when this world was made um again i'll give credit in a little bit but i feel like it was made before seasons because there's a lot of outdoor stuff and i feel like if it was made after seasons they wouldn't have done that just because <laughs> you're not gonna be able to use a lot of these bars in, during the seasons but up here we have some karaoke going on which is really cute brandon evans and the, and the bouncer oh ew he is scary that's cute that's really cute um, and there's nothing here, and then, oh, this is really, really pretty. Again, like, my favorite color scheme for a building. Um, I just really like it. I really like it. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, and then let's take a look at the Forgotten Lights and see how this looks. This freaking video is gonna be so long. I hate myself. Um, oh! my god this is awesome this is awesome look they're even like color coded oh Col oh okay i won't look at the color coded bathrooms then game don't worry i really like what these did with this like you put a little animal or not animal oh my god a human in there right right that's fine the, the animal is not but the human is that's actually my thought process um, this looks dangerous, but it's fine because you can come up here and blow bubbles and get drunk and then look over the edge and die, right? Yeah, queen. Anyway, that's really cool. I really like that. I'm going to save a lot of these. I can already tell. And it plays these in other worlds as well. Um, and then we have this little area over here, which is just so, so cute. Oh my god, look at how beautiful it is. <gasps> You're kidding. You are kidding. Wow, that is gorgeous. Let's look at these. What are these? Apartments? No. Houses. Let's look at it. I'm just curious. What is it? Let's open it. See what it looks like on the inside. I can't tell. Oh, this is an apartment. I lived in this apartment before. Oh my god, I love this one. It's so cute. It's so small. Oh my god, it is so cute. Oh, I remember this family that I lived in here with. Oh my god, I love that family. I miss that family. They had a baby boy, and then the husband came home and gave her a kitten and proposed. It was cute. <laughs> that's that's the shit I remember, but I can't remember, like, important information for, like, when I was in high school. Like, I hate myself. Um, But, yeah, I think that's honestly it for this world overview. It is just a really big, gorgeous world. I love big worlds because that means there's a lot of shit to do, and I hate being stuck at home. You guys know this. Like, I like to have my sins go out and do stuff. I know there's days where I won't do that because... Having some days at home are also nice, especially when you have a big family, which most of my Let's Play families are big, and, you know, sometimes it's nice to have a day home. But if you guys really like this world, you should definitely download it. But like I said before, you needed a good computer for it because it is huge. It is 
one of the biggest worlds <laughs> I've ever freaking seen. And then, like, a lot of it is just empty. Like, it's not even, like, compacted. Like, if they compacted it, they probably could have sized down the entire world. Which, I like how it is made, though, because it makes sense. Like, I wouldn't want it to be compact. I like how, I like it how it is. So, props to them for you knowing what the hell they were doing. Um, the people that make worlds like this actually, like, scope it out. And it's, like, awesome. But if you guys like this video, you should go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, you should go ahead and let me know. I had a lot of people um, check out my last world overview. So, I thought I'd go ahead and make another world overview. Because there's a lot of worlds that I really love. And I want to do some, like, mod reviews and stuff like that on my channel. I think that would be really cool to kind of implement implement into my channel and um all that fun stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i will have the description of it down below let me actually credit the person so i'm gonna have to pull it out real quick i'll be right back okay the world is actually by this dude named riff it's i believe that's how you say it. it's r-y-p-h and thank you so much dude this is awesome anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this um video i will have the link to it in the comments i always put in the comments on the description no one looks in the description i feel like but um i'll see you guys next time bye guys